Arizona appears has a new athletic director, Desiree Reed Francois from Missouri. Now, before we get into all the details, she's got a pretty impressive resume. Uh, lawyer, went to UCLA, uh, went to the U of A as well, facts the A. Um, associate athletic director at Fresno State, San Francisco, Tennessee, Cincinnati, Virginia Tech football, uh, the athletic director at UNLV, and for the last uh, two years at Missouri. Uh, Missouri basketball is obviously very good. Uh, Missouri football is obviously very good. Missouri basketball went further in the tournament. Sheer, just off the top of my head, this looks like a very, very good hire. Yeah, I mean, look, it, it, she at Missouri – uh, had their budget in the surplus for the first time in six years. She was brought in to help fix their financial issues. Sound familiar? Mm -hmm. um, so she has experience working with that. Um, she's a very good fundraiser. She did a lot of NIL things at the university level and at the state level. She fits the mold of what Robin said that he wanted, which is someone that will help modernize the athletic department going into the Big 12. All right, now, she did graduate from in 1997. That is very, very cool as well. One thing that uh, a lot of people have told me, including your good buddy, Tony Altimore, um, is that she's uh, she's very well thought of. Um, she's kind of a job uh, a job hopper. Um, but, listen, I mean, I'm this kind of goes back to the Jed Fish thing. As bummed as we are about Jed Fish, you still hire Jed Fish again because of where we're at right now with Arizona football. It's kind of the same thing with her. If she's able to get Arizona financially in a little bit better spot, then I think that you're, it's a, you're in a really good, you're in a really good situation. If she leaves in three or four years, that still doesn't take away from the fact that I think Dave, he, he absolutely got screwed in all this. I still need to be able to put that out there, but sure. What say you? Uh, first of all, Dennis Walsh, fantastic comment. Someone asked her if she was uh, in the riot in 1997 when she was here. It would be great, right? <laughs> First question tomorrow. Um, look, like, there's a, there's a theory, like, we're all mad at how Jed Fish left. But at the end of the day, like you said, it's about, you know, we always said we, we expected it to be an extra year. But we always said, look, like, if a coach leaves on their own will, it means that they've they've done well, right? If she comes in and she fixes the – financial situation and help stabilize the athletic department and then winds up leaving in five years so be it right like it's just it's that's just how it's it's going to be and who knows what college sports is going to look like in five years who knows who the president of the school is going to be in five years right. i mean it's just yeah like if she does her job and does it well i, I don't really care if she leaves jobs but um I, I would assume that tomorrow when we do the presser, someone will ask her and she'll say that every job she went, when you look at her, um, the difference with fish is like with her, every job was a step up, right. right? And you can say that Missouri and Arizona really isn't a step up, but she went to Arizona and Missouri's done some things that kind of, from what I understand, pissed her off and Arizona was there and, and it wound up being a good match. I'm also curious about the uh, the Erica Barnes factor we need to talk a little bit about here because most people, you and me included, thought that it was probably going to be Erica Barnes. She was the leader in the clubhouse. Uh, boosters love Erica Barnes. Um, it's going to be fascinating to see how this one plays out because a lot of people were under the impression that Erica Barnes was going to be the, uh, the next athletic director at the U of A. I think one of the first things that uh, Reed needs to do is – meet with Erica Barnes and figure out a way to make her happy and keep her on staff. Because I mean, I don't know the day in and day out stuff that Erica does to be honest. Uh, but I know that the boosters love her. She mm -hmm. is absolutely a bridge to the boosters. And that is going to be a very important part of uh, Reed Francois's job. And so uh, in some capacity, if she could find a way to keep Erica Barnes, I, I think that would be a, a very important move. Uh, one of her first moves, in fact. John Hip John Hippensteel, the great John Hippensteel, um, says, I don't really see that UNLV or uh, Missouri programs are really that great. What has she done other than get the budget surplus? You got to remember, my man at Missouri, that's not an easy place. That's not a place with a ton of tradition when it comes to football. And they finished, what, 10th in the country this past year? Yeah, I mean, very clearly, their football program is on the way up, right? right. Like, they're doing things football-wise that they haven't done in a long time. I always look at the reaction on message boards and Twitter and all that. And I know that's probably not the right place to look for this stuff, but like it's when the exact right place to look, come on. Well, when you look, well, like when, when you lose a coach, right, you, you look and if people are like, thank God, you're like, okay, there's something wrong here. 
Missouri fans are legitimately upset that she's leaving. That mm -hmm. tells me a lot, right? Like it, from a fan perspective, they liked her and what she did um, with the university. Right. And, you know, that's what, kind of what it comes down to for me as well. And again, with football, listen, I mean, Missouri was, you watch football, Eli Drinkwitz was obviously a very, very good hire. She hired him, correct? I believe so. I'll look it up. All right, it's well, going to be funny if she did it. It's going to be really funny if she didn't. We have like no hires to be able to point to. <laughs> um, but uh, but either way, though, like uh, financially, and we're going to get into the financial aspect. She, she did not hire him, but she was able to get the extension done. All right. Well, either all right. Well, either, either way, with all the extension stuff, we'll we'll still take it, and it's it's thriving right now under it. This also goes to show you, to a certain extent, that maybe Arizona isn't as in bad a spot um, as some people are trying to make it out. The whole poverty school, this and that. Most people, most athletic directors, probably aren't leaving SEC programs if they're going into a place that's an absolute uh, landfill. Jason Shear.